Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. My name is Modi and you're welcome to Modi Speaks. Today we're going to be discussing a viral video that is circulating on TikTok. It shows an African-American woman criticizing a white couple for going as far as adopting a black kid. To give you a little bit of context, this is the man in question who is being criticized. His name is Michael Chandler and he's an MMA fighter. To be honest, I didn't know who this guy was until now because the truth is I'm not into MMA fights and stuff like that. But I looked him up and I discovered that he's a pretty decent guy and he really seems to have a good connection with God. And that's something that I consider very important. So this guy and his wife have been the target of many online criticisms recently, not just because they adopted two black kids, but mostly because of his response during a particular interview let's see what he said i'm not raising black children i'm raising children i'm not raising black men i'm raising men and whether you are black or you are white no matter what race that you are there are certain things about being a man and being a good man when it comes to character and integrity and safeguarding the helpless and sticking up for those who, who need it and being a good man a good man of reputation none of that has to do with skin color Everything has to do with the character of the man. Um, and like I said, it's probably the an probably not an answer that some people would say is important, but that's where the world has gone, where we think that the most important thing about us is our skin color or our gender or our, or our, our sex or our political affiliation or all these different identity politics or the identities that we put on each other uh, when really we're just human beings on this earth and there are certain there are certain things about being a good person that transcend skin color and age and sex and religion and all of those different things. Now, this appears to be the main reason he is being attacked online. The fact that he said he is not just raising black men, rather he is raising men, meaning that he is more concerned on the quality of training his kids receive, which will allow them to grow into responsible and respectable human beings in the future. Instead of being more concerned with the race of his children. This doesn't mean that he doesn't see color and he never said that that he doesn't see color it simply means that despite the skin color of his kids be them white or black kids he's going to inculcate in them values that will make them good men tomorrow however some people decided to spin this story in a very negative way just like this viral video that is making rounds on tiktok why do white people adopt black children it's a real question for me why do white people adopt black children and then say things like I'm not raising black children. I'm raising children. Oh, are you? So this is UFC fighter Michael Chandler, and this is his wife. They've adopted two black children, and he recently did an interview where he stated he's not raising black children. He's raising children. And while I understand that he thinks that he means well by creating this think piece of, I don't see color, let me tell you why that's a problem. Even though you claim that you and your wife don't see color, the world does. This is America. And so when those children look at you, there's going to be, this can be problematic because it ignores the racial and cultural identity of the child. By not acknowledging the child's racial background, you're going to inadvertently neglect certain aspects of their identity, which is black you're gonna neglect their experiences you're gonna neglect what they may go through when they get out in the real world because they will not be treated like you so when you say that you're not raising black children you're only raising children how are you going to explain to them when they get treated different in the schools that you put them in when they get treated different out in society when they get treated different in the workplace how are you going to explain that to them is race going to come up then another reason why i don't understand why white people adopt black children is because a lot of times white people are not around a lot of black people right and so you're only going to have these black children around other white people. And I'm just assuming here, I don't know him personally, but I'm just saying for the most part, whenever we see white celebrities adopt black children, they have them within their group of friends, right? 
all white people when they're not just even though you're raising them you want to expose them to their own culture do you have any black friends is there any type of cultural significance you can give these children any shows any areas any schools any anything to show them somebody who looks like them and not just like you when these children grow up or what we see most of the time when these children end up growing up they feel lost in the world and they don't know where they fit in because on one side of the spectrum you really don't fit in with the black population because you've been raised as white even though you are black then on the other side of the spectrum you're around all these white people and they don't 100 percent accept you because at the end of the day you're black so with all of these complexities why would you not acknowledge or raise your children as black children to prepare them the best that you can in the world this i don't see color mentality does more harm than good because while you claim you don't see color we know you do and that's not a bad thing that's not to say that anybody's racist or anything like that but when people claim that they don't see color you do because you're not blind everybody sees color i'm looking at this picture right here and i see a white wife and a white husband and black children so everybody sees color and guess what when they go out in the world the world is also going to see color so i hope all the backlash that you've been getting for that interview that you did will enlighten you and your wife a little bit to open up your mind and give these children the best upbringing because we know monetarily you can we know monetarily you're going to give them the best life that they can have they probably going to go to the best schools best food best area that's all fine and dandy but make sure you don't slip on that mental health because by raising them as not black children is going to psychologically mess them up first of all i just want to retreat the fact that mr michael chandler never said those words I don't see color. He's perfectly aware that his kids are black. When he said he's raising a kid and not just a black kid, he's saying that that child's skin color would not inhibit or interfere with the values or the morals or the discipline or the education or the training that he would give those kids. He knows they are African, but he knows that his kids are loved and would always be loved. And at the end of the day, that is what matters. Why do white people adopt black kids? Well, because these black kids are being abandoned by their black parents in the first place another reason is because when these black kids who have been abandoned by their black parents were put up for adoption none of their black family members came up to provide them with a home there that's the answer it's as simple as that and when you listen to more of what mr chandler said in that interview then you would understand what he meant he probably gets tired of hearing it but i thank him i'm like i thank you so much for being my son and i'm so proud to be your dad and uh and i just think i just think i didn't get that as much when i was a kid i my parents loved me so much but they didn't really make me feel like i could run through that wall it didn't really make me feel like I could go across those county lines and go anywhere across the world and do anything I want to. And I want my children to unlock something inside of themselves to make them believe that they can do anything. And then I pray that prayer over them every single night. You are Hap Chandler. You are Ace Chandler. When you walk into a room, people take notice. When you speak, people listen. When you walk in a certain direction, people will follow. You are a child of God. You are the head, not the tail. You are above and not beneath. And you are chosen for a time such as this. And I am so proud to be your father. You know, and the best thing that we can do is is pour into these kids because if I could be a superhero to him, but somehow that superhero believes in him more than the superhero believes in himself, then what can't he accomplish, you know? And it's so much bigger and so much deeper and so much more impactful than the, our differences, our skin color, the things that are different about us because we're so much more the same than we are different. This woman just made me understand that no matter how much good deed you do, there is still someone out there that would complain about it. Would it have been better to allow these kids to remain orphans 
in these foster cares as opposed to being raised in a capable loving happy family judging from most of what she said in that video you would understand that she is already viewing those kids as victims simply because they are black and believe me if this woman had a kid this is the same victim mentality she would transfer to her own kids telling kids how the police is going to hunt them down the moment they step out of the house how they can't land a high paying job because of their skin color how the system is against them even with the rise in diversity equity and inclusion how many kids have this woman adopted by the way I'm happy some sane people also came on the internet to call out her stupidity. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? My second question is, why do you care who adopts them and what color they are as long as they love that child and raise them right? And lastly, I see color. I see color. But when I see a little baby, I don't go, oh, look at that little white baby or look at that little black baby. These are babies. They haven't been filled with ignorance yet. Let them babies be babies and grow up to be good people. Why do we actively attack people who are willing and wanting to take in a child, any child, doesn't matter what their race is, a child who is in need of a home? I'm not sure if people understand the foster care system and how it works, but if a child does not get adopted and they're in the foster care system, they stay there until they turn 18. And then after 18, they're out on their own. No family, no backup plan, nothing. They're literally out on the streets to fend for themselves. So why? Why would we want a child to stay in foster care because the family is not black or the same race as them that wants to adopt them? Why is it so bad to have a child live with, be with a part of a family that wants them? Second question is, why is it now that there are so many children in the black community that need homes? Why isn't the black community actively helping these families before they end up in foster care? Back in the day, grandma, auntie, and all of them would take these kids in. If they knew mama wasn't doing right, they were going to do everything they needed to do. Foster care actually reaches out to everybody they can. They ask mom, they ask dad, they ask anybody, do you have a kinship care that you would prefer over foster care? Because Hey, now I can't talk about people that are adopting kids from overseas, but that is not my business. I'm talking about here in the U.S. Third thing is, what are you doing? What are you doing to be an active participant in the foster care system to get these children who need black families and help them out? Be that person that they could have as like that liaison. Be that family that's like, you know what? I think I can be a foster parent. Let me welcome these kids in because quite frankly, there's not enough of us <laughs> out there that are actively participating in the foster care system and that are welcoming children into our homes. I have been a licensed foster care parent for about four years now. And in our community, I probably have seen one, one person of color out of all of these people who are willing to take children into their home. And I have only had one black child come into my house, which is a blessing, which means people in this community are stepping up when need. That That's what that means, that when they are needed, they are stepping up and taking these kids into their home. I don't care what color a child is. When they come into my home, they are my child and I'm going to take care of them until I send them back. My son, my son is not black, but I adopted him. Why? Because I had that child in my house for over a year and a half and had him since he was six weeks old. And I was the only mother he knew. And just because he's not black does not mean that I could not be his mom. Matter of fact, I feel like I birthed that baby. So let's be active participants in the solution and not attack people for wanting to help with the problem. Really, I find it hard to believe that I had to make this video because I never believed that anyone could be outraged by a black kid being adopted by a capable white family. It is unbelievable, but sadly, we live in a world today where people have a problem with everything. At the end of her video, she appeared happy that this honorable man and his family is receiving backlash for showing love to these little children. Now, what she failed to understand is that by dragging this man and his family, she is in fact traumatizing these little black kids who can be ridiculed with this information in school by other kids. 
please let us bear in mind that the internet is a very toxic place so let's try to see each other as one let's try to do better especially when little kids are involved if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this please do well to subscribe to my channel like and share this video it is totally free and it will encourage me to keep making more videos